<clears throat> That's still crooked. Hey, Jason here. Sorry about that. I just had to fix that. Oh, so anyways, I wanted to talk to you about, uh, I don't know, just see how it goes, right? And uh, just so you know, for those uh, Christians out there, okay, I'm not a Christian, okay, all right, nowhere in the commandments, Exodus 20 and Leviticus 19 says to be a Christian, okay, either to be a Jew. See, what people don't understand is the Israelites broke the commandments. Well, technically, they didn't break the commandments. When Moses came down the mountain, right, he seen that they created a golden calf. That golden calf is the Christ. Okay, they fashioned it with their own hands. Okay, that means they made it in their own likeness or their whatever they wanted to, they, they wanted to make. The Jews did that. Or they were Israelites before. And when the Israelites did that, they became Jews. Okay? Because they went their own way in their own traditions. They created their own laws. Right? They tried to be like God. Do you understand how that works? Okay? So what happened then was, then Saul came along, which is King Herod's brother. If you had a 1611 King James, you would see that in the beginning. Of Matthew because this little footnote that's in there King Herod that was Saul's foster brother so it was in Saul's best interest to keep the Christians or Paul's best interest to put the Christians back into prison which is the Messiah false doctrine Christ whatever that's why Jesus had said that in Matthew 16 20 and he says do not go looking for Christ if a man, any man says to you, Christ here, Christ here, don't believe him. What are they doing? Everybody's saying, Christ, oh, you're wrong, and Christ, wrong, Christ. Well, what about God? God gives you his commandments that everybody has failed. That's why Isaiah 65, 11 says, right? They forgot my holy mountain. That holy mountain lost in Luzon, Mexico. That's where the commandments were first placed. The Paleo-Hebrew commandments, which I've shown on, on everybody's channel that I've reached. Okay? And if I haven't reached your channel with God's Word, okay, because I put it on people's uh, YouTube channels, all right, if I haven't reached you, that's a reason, there's a reason for that. Either I don't know your name, or you don't show your face or you show, don't show your name. You make a false name. That's why it's written there that Jesus said that. I don't know you. Well, it's obvious. If I don't know your face, I don't know your, <laughs> your, your, your full name. Like most people do that uh, are not scared. But majority of the people that make false names information and you know don't use their real names are cowards they hide behind the you know a voice right never showing their face never showing anything not even their name but yet they have their experts when it comes to the words god's words i have nothing to fear if you got like i, I people call names and all this you know i dealt with people calling names all white people throughout my childhood all white people i grew up in a predominantly white Community, not like Saskatchewan. You think I'm? Uh, you think being called names really affects me? It doesn't bother me. You can call me all the names, and I'll be like, yes, I am probably. Just like when the Christians that I'm reaching right now, oh Satan, he's going to deceive you. Oh, they're religious. I'm not religious. Let me get that straight. I am not religious, nor I'm Christian. I'm just a boy, eight years old, since I started reading this Bible. I was not even in a church before I started reading this Bible. All right. The reason why I read it was because I was led to it. And the first verse that I read was Revelations 20, verse 15. Whosoever's name not found in the book of life will be cast into the lake of fire. As eight years old, you know, I wanted to read, find my name. So that's what I spent my life doing. In the process, I came very knowledgeable when it came to God's words. When it, when, when, 
Christians come at me and they say, oh, you got to love, you got to love your neighbor, you love this. Well, of course, you don't understand what Jesus was talking about. You have to love your neighbor by providing them with God's word when God said, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, and soul, which is you understanding what the word of saying that I'm showing you and giving it to your neighbor. Not to bear false witness. That's why in the commandments it says, thou shalt not bear false witness. But that's what they keep doing. That's why we have John 8.44 says, Ye are the father of the devil, for the lust of your flesh ye will do. For they speak throughout their mouth, basically, making false lies up. Never, basically not saying, keeping God's word pure. Like I keep saying to you guys, you know, if you guys just kept the commandments, which are, none of you even know where the commandments are found in the Bible. <laughs> That should be your first clue that none of you know what, what God's saying. It's like you go on the internet right now. Everyone's, oh, God said this. Oh, uh, this is what God thinks, you know. This is, uh, but what about God has a voice? He speaks. He can speak for himself. That's why we have Revelation 20, verse 12. Everybody's going to stand before God. Right? No, you guys want to read? believe that. You don't even understand that 2012, from the book from 20 to 2022, this is the time we're in. We're at the end of the vision. That's why Exodus 20, 20 says, And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, for God has come to prove you that ye sin not. Then we continue on by 2021, 2022, where God has spoken to you from heaven. Heaven is the internet. Everybody's going to see him in the clouds. Wi-Fi. That was one of the things I was puzzled by since I was a boy. How is everybody going to see him all at once? If this person is, is sitting here, for instance, I am here in, in Saskatoon or Regina, right? How is this person going to see me in Amsterdam at, at the same time? Maybe thousands or a hundred thousands of people through the internet. That's what we're doing right now. The clouds, as in Microsoft Cloud, and the windows of heaven were opened. Genesis 7.11. The windows of heaven. Some are using my, uh, Microsoft. Some are using Apple. 1976, the Apple was invented. Where it says there, knowing good and evil. Well, yeah, there's evil on the internet, and there's also good on the internet. Right? So, but what I want to talk to you about is about uh, these curses that we're seeing today. Suddenly we're seeing um, monkeypox, COVID-19, and I'm sure there's going to be several more that's coming. Do you know why that is? I've been trying to tell you this since 2020, actually 2019. Well, technically I've been trying to say this since I was a boy. Since I first read Exodus 2020, I knew this was coming. How could you be understand to be a prophet when you don't even know what these God's word is saying? Jesus had said that, you know, the Holy Ghost. He said that no man knows the day and hour, but my father only. Well, yeah, that's your clue, Sherlock Holmes. That the father would know. Where, is you, where would you find the father? In the, in the Old Testament, that's where you see the father. If you don't understand that, well, then what are you doing with God's word? Oh, I know what you're doing. You're following Paul, the devil. I, to I keep telling you this in my, in, in my, my videos. Acts 8.3 And Saul caused havoc in the church, committed many into prison. Revelation 2.10 and the devil will cast some of you into prison. Do you not see a connection? <laughs> He's the deceiver. Everything that's in this Bible has been written in the Bible to show you who the devil is, who these characters are. And just because you think you're, you're a holy Christian and say, oh, I'm righteous because I read the Bible. No, you're not. I've witnessed everything 
and I've witnessed all your lives. And it's quite annoying because God's word is the most perfect, divine, inspired word of God. And that's the five books of Moses. Otherwise, the five smooth stones. You know the ones that David picked up from the water? <laughs> and then he defeated the giant, as in religion, Christianity, Judaism, Islam. Where house divided, it shall not stand. Well, obviously your houses are divided if you have Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Come on, think about it. Use your mind. It doesn't take a rocket science to understand that all your houses are divided. How else are you going to be perfect if you don't keep the commandments? But if, 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 if uh, Saul tells you, well, no man is perfect. Well, yeah, because guess what? It was Saul that was committing the early followers of Jesus to their deaths. He was the persecutor. Do you think that he's going to be forgiven for that? No. That's why Jesus had said that in Matthew 5.21. Shall we look at that verse again? Let's see. I'll find it. Oh, i got to use... My uh, stone tablet. You know, the tablet? I'm sure you, you're using your tablet right now. <laughs> or an iPad. Matthew 5.21. Right here. Okay, well, let's look at my 5.17. Okay. Think not that I come to destroy the law. Or the prophets. I, have, I am not come to destroy, but fulfill. That's all what Jesus came to do, is just to fulfill, because he's the Holy Ghost. All right? So, Matthew 5.21. This is what people totally skip. They don't want to read what Jesus says. Heck no! Because Jesus' words is the fire. You know, the... You know, the the Holy Ghost that baptizes you with fire, that dude. You know, the ghost that never dies, the ones that words are still alive, the ones that you guys forgot, that I'm helping you understand again, that is the second return of your understanding. Because it's God himself that shows up. Right? Because what kind of God sends his own son to die? As, as a father, I would never do that. I would rather sacrifice my own self for my son. Like every good parent around here. You can see the examples on the internet. If any father that doesn't do that for their own son is not a father at all. He's a coward. So when John says that, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son... Well, you have to understand what that means. He gave, he gave his son to prepare the way. The Holy Ghost. Isn't that what it says? It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son to die. Is that what that says? No. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Where did it say that he's going to die? That, that God's going to send his Son to die? Paul says that because he's only justifying his lies of his persecuting. That's his guilt. But if you want to be in Paul's guilt, go ahead. Because then you already, you already are in sin because you've already disobeyed God disobeyed the commandments, 
God's commandments, which are found in Exodus 20 and Leviticus 19. That's it, 2019. 2019? My goodness, isn't that when COVID appeared? <laughs> and then suddenly, 2020 shows up, and then the whole world's in lockdown. That's why we have... What's that? Uh, Revelations 3.20? Does anybody know that verse, three, Revelation 3.20, which is otherwise March 20th? March 20th was the date, well, I'll, maybe I'll look at, maybe it's still in here. Oops. So this is, I'm showing you the, the public measures of Saskatchewan. Uh, let's see if it's here. Proof of vaccination no longer required. February 14th on Valentine's Day. Because you know what I was doing? I was sending the letters that you see as, as, as I'm posting here. I sent physical letters of God's word to the ministers. That's why I've been working for throughout the world sending letters. That's what we're supposed to do. That's why Revelation and the beginning of Revelation says write these things down. I've obeyed, and look what's happened. Now Saskatchewan doesn't have any mandatory lockdowns or proof of vaccination. It's no longer effective now, February 28th. Hold on, I'm trying to find that date here. I try to find that date here. What year is this here? March twenty twenty. He's just telling you the dates. But it was pretty much Saskatchewan has been the lowest in the world. Okay, where is this? I know what should be here. Okay, maybe I'll type it in uh, March 20th.
Well, it was pretty much March 20th. Hmm. Anyways, it was March 20th. Right, so... Let's see... So anyways, the reason why that uh, March 20th date is, uh, I find that funny, it's because it's uh, Revelations 3.20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. <laughs> that verse. That, I was just laughing when that happened, dude. Right? <laughs> so, but... It's been probably, it's, it's in different, probably lockdowns in different other areas of the world, but... Saskatchewan was the 20th, right? So we all know that what's happening here. All right, so I'm going to give you an understanding because uh, unless these uh, Christians and Jewish people stop talking about these things because they don't understand, these are the curses that they're speaking into existence. This is why, during this time, you have to keep the Word of God perfect. Not using your own opinion. Because this is what add and take away is. Alright? But you guys, but they don't want to listen. They just want to think, oh, I'm expert. Oh, I got to de declare, I got to do this and I got to do that. Well, what are you declaring? You're, de you're declaring your opinion? Or are you keeping God's, God's spoken Word perfect? The five books of Moses. Okay, I'll just finish that here, Matthew 5.21, right? You have heard that it was said by old time, Thou shalt not kill. Whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment, or to them. That is quite clear. So who is the one that killed him? Okay, so now we go to... Uh, You have to remember, when Jesus says in Matthew 16, 20, he says, don't go looking for Christ, all right? It, you can't believe what the John and Peter are them and calling that because when Peter says, oh, you are the Son of God, oh, you are the, the Christ, and then what did, G, what did Jesus tell him? He says, you know, skip behind me, Satan, for these are not the things of God. Right? He that committed sin is the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. I told you who the devil was. Right? This purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Quite clear, as we see is Acts 8.3. 8.3, 8, isn't that coincidence? <laughs> see, this one, John saying this, because they're always talking about the Antichrist. Oh, Antichrist this, Antichrist that. Uh, if Jesus is saying he's not Jesus Christ, right? Why is John saying the spirit that convinces not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God? Why is John saying that? That's a contradictory statement compared to what Jesus had said. Then charged his disciples that they should tell no man that he was Jesus the Christ. That's pretty clear. And these verses that say that he's the Holy Ghost, Luke 1, 3, 5, Acts 13, 9, and 22, 7, confirm it. Then if a man say unto you, Lo, there's Christ here, believe it not. Any man. Well, what's John saying that for? Because he doesn't know. This is what people always go to with their verse. Well, let's forget about what Jesus says. And let's follow what the what men are said that are lying. <laughs> so you have to understand, you have, this is why you have to rightly divide. So 
See, fear not those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Acts 8 3. So you just see, you can see it yourself. And, and Saul, he made havoc of the church, entering into every house and hauling men in and committing them to prison. I should just put that in there. It's hauling, hailing. Acts 4.18, it's quite clear. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all nor teach in the name of Jesus. Did anybody see that one? Oh, they skipped that one. <laughs> and the men which journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice but seeing no man, which is the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Then Saul, who was filled, called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set eyes on him. Who? Jesus! He's the Holy Ghost! <laughs> and, when had, and when they had fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speak, fallen to the earth. What does that remind you of? The fallen ones. Well, who are the fallen ones? The ones that are following Paul. In the gospel of Christ. <laughs> right? And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecute thou me? Is it hard for thee to kick against the pricks? And I said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus whom thou persecuted. Saul basically says, Jesus says, Yeah, I pointed him out. He's the one that's persecuting me. He's the one that killed me. He's the one that... Strung me up on the cross. It was him. And here it is again. Be known that therefore, that the salvation of God, it's salvation of God. Where does it say salvation of Jesus? Whoever committed sin transgresses the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not persecute. Is it starting to ring in your minds that Paul is the devil? The temptation that you have to stay away from or you have to overcome. But none of you have overcome it. Let's follow, follow Paul because he says some wonderful things. I'm saved by grace that lest any man shall boast. <laughs> what a joke. He that committed sin is the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. This is the purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. How did he become the Son of God? He obeyed God's word. He kept the commandments. Just like any one of you can do the same thing. Keep the commandments. You can be a son and daughter of God too. You can be a child of God. That's what I'm restoring. The children of Israel. The Israelites. Remember uh, in James? You know, maybe it's I still have it here. Oh, I don't have it on here, but anyways, the Father of Lights, Israelites. They're not. They're not Jews. They're not Christians. They're called Israelites because he gathers them from the four winds. Because they're scattered. Not in a little country called fake Israel. Any man can say, oh, this is Israel. This is where we're going. That's the prophecy that was going to happen, which is the fake. <laughs> because Israel is a spirit. That's why he gathers them from the four winds. The lost children of Israel. <laughs> you guys need to start paying attention. Okay, and Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied, saying these sayings, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousand of his sins. So, sorry, this is not supposed to be capital. Right? Ten thousand of his saints. They're already in the Bible. That's what he's talking about. So 
See, Revelation 3.20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come to him and I will sup with him, he with me. And his, the color of his skin, I keep saying, is not white. You know these white women? Oh, they have, they make these pictures of a white Jesus with lusterless hair, right? Lust. That same verse that says that if you look upon a woman with lust, you've already committed adultery in your heart. The same thing with women. It applies to them too. Because when it says man, it re generally refers to both sexes. This is how he looked. Revelation 4.3. How we know this is him because it's represented by seven. Four plus three is seven. And he who was sitting was like a jasper stone. And this, I don't know why they, they overlooked this verse. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and look and read the book. No look thereon. Quite clear, right? And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the Lion of Judah, the Root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and loose the seven seals thereof. None of you know what the seven seals are. Because it's Anishinaabek prophecies, the seven grandfather teachings, love, humility, courage, bravery, and so forth. Revelation 7 2, otherwise 7 11. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, which is the Holy Ghost, Jesus. He was in the Middle East. Remember him? Having the seal of the living God, the name, my name. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to them hurt to eat and see. Because we're already at the end of the prophecy. <laughs> The mark of the beast as the mark of man. He caused all. That's quite clear. There's no choice when it comes to the mark of the beast. Everybody has received it. This is why you need the seal of God. That's why I'm trying to help you understand. All he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark on their right hand and their foreheads. Hey, when, you, when you've when you gotten your temperature check lately, did they do it on your forehead or did they do it on your hand? With an infrared gun. Now this one, this is where all people say, oh, it's 666. No, it isn't. The 1611 King James states, here is wisdom. Let him, hear, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, which is man, for it is the number of a man. And his number is 600, three score six. 600 represents Genesis 7, 11. Noah lived for 600 years. Right? Three score six. Score is to keep track of. Just like if you're playing soccer, let's keep the, let's keep the score of the sports game. Hockey, for instance, it's seven to two. That's the score. <laughs> right? Three six is the temperature of a man. Because it's for it's a number of a man. Is it starting to resonate with your minds? And now you need to pay attention to this. Here is the patience of the saints. Well, who's the saints? All the Christians, oh, I'm a saint. Oh, I'm so I'm, I'm a saint because I self-declare I'm a prophet. Oh, I'm a I'm a bishop. I'm a I'm a pastor. I'm a reverend. Just like Paul who self-declares he's an apostle. And that's who you're following. But the saints are Matthew, Mark, and Luke, right? The three saints, the three witnesses, who testify for Jesus, the Holy Ghost. <laughs> is it start, does it make sense now? Here are they that keep the commandments of God, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and the faith of Jesus. Where does it say Jesus Christ in that verse? So you have to pay attention. Now 
Now this is another one I keep showing. Revelation 19, 12. His eyes were a flame of fire. On his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. Which goes back to Isaiah 7, 14. The Lord himself will show you a sign. Not Pastor Joe over there. Not this guy. Not that guy. Not this. <laughs> And he was called the best you dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. So his name is in the Bible. And he's the only one that's going to show you his own name. Like what I've done. Just that's why you got to go through the fire. The Red Sea. Is it starting to make sense? And the Calgary Flames are in the playoffs. And guess who's guess who's playing against them? The Oilers. The, you need the oil to light the fire, right? <laughs> but the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand of years were finished. This is the first resurrection. You, you have to remember, here Satan was released, right? And... Exact same time, the thousand years were at the end now. Because what happened? What what how many years have passed? Two thousand years already. Right? Remember, they reigned for with Christ for a thousand years. Well, they did. That already passed. It's over from from the from the birth of Jesus. A thousand year passed. And then now the reign of Satan has ended. 2,000 years has passed. When the 1,000 years are finished, the reign of Satan. Christ reigned for a 1,000 years. Now Satan has reigned for a 1,000 years. 2,000 years. What year are we in? 2020. Two. <laughs> is, this, is, it, is, it, is it starting to calculate this? Because that's why Jesus had said that. No man knows the day and hour, but the Father only. But everybody's, oh, the rapture. Oh, the rapture's coming. Oh, the rapture's here. Psalms 1711. The meek inherit the earth. Jesus said in Matthew 5.5, 5, the meek inherit the earth. Where there's two witnesses. Renders that statement true. Do you see that? 2006. Blessed and holy is he that had the part of the first resurrection. On the second, death had no power. But they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. That already passed. All right. 2007. And when the thousand years are expired. That's what that's saying. The thousand years are over with the reign of Christ when it Thousand years have expired. That's two thousand years. Satan shall be loosed out of his prison, which is done. Right? What is the prison? I told you, Paul's doctrines, his church, because he corrupted the church. That's where you see people are following Paul's lies, because they they just what happened. The churches were shut down, remember? They were released. <laughs> all these Christians are all on YouTube making all these lies, and Satan was released. They were loosed out of prison. That's what you see them on YouTube right now, lying, the false Christs. Now we get to 2012. What does that sound? Remember, everyone was freaking out. Oh, 2012 is coming into the world. End of the world. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> And the Christians are, oh, we're going to go fly up with them. Oh, we're going to feed Jesus. We're going to see them. We're going to see them. No, you're not. And I saw the dead small and great stand before God. And the books were open. Another book was open, which was the book of life. And the dead were judged of those things, which were written in the books according to their works. What is your works? Oh, your works are following Paul, the devil. Is it starting to make sense now? I'm trying to help you understand what the word is. That's what happens is that God returns to the earth himself and saves everybody.
It's the power of his word. And his voice goes out forth as the mighty roaring thunders. This is the verse I told you I read when I was eight years old. When I went to my, my aunt, went to a bookstore in Outlook, Saskatchewan. Okay. The, it was like a picturesque little house. All right. I'll show you it. Because I got the Google Earth. <laughs> so I can show you everything. I can show you where the Ten Commandments is, which I've done. But the Jews, oh no, that's not it. No, 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 heck no. Even though it's written in Paleo Hebrew, which Leland Jones has proven already, which I have included in my video, which Paleo Hebrew means ancient Hebrew, not modern Hebrew, that is what's today. So think about that for a moment. So we'll continue here. Now we're in the, we just passed the year 2021, right? 21. 22 we're in, right? The year 2022. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, preceding the throne of God and the Lamb. We're at the end of the vision. Now let's go to Revelation 22, 18. This is what Christians are doing and Jews are on a, just lying through their teeth. This is why these curses are here. And behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according to his work shall be. And behold, I, okay, hold on, keep going down. For I testify, I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. So what are these professing Christians doing? I'll show you some, some examples on YouTube. That is quite clear. Deuteronomy 4.2, that's where it's from. Oops. trying to get this my point out how, how serious this is because this can all be stopped you need to start warning these Christians to be silent and keep the Word of God the commandments pure Exodus 20 and Leviticus 19 2019 that's the message to start saving humanity, saving lives instead of people dying and catching these diseases and these sicknesses. It doesn't have to be this way. So instead of going into revelations and all these books, you have to understand where these verses originated from, from the Old Testament. That's how you keep the Word of God perfect. Because it's God's voice that you're obeying, not man's voice, especially not John's voice. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish aught from it, that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God which I command you. That's how you love the Lord your God, right? <laughs> Proverbs 3060. 36. 30, verse 6. Where there's two witnesses, those are those two verses. And thou shalt 
and thou not unto his words, lest ye prove ye, and thou be found a liar. Wow. And that's what I'm trying to help you understand. You guys are all liars. And when you're lying about to the words that are written in those books, these curses are coming upon the earth. This is why you got to keep it perfect. And I'm trying to help you understand that. If not, now we're going to have monkeypox. People are going to catch it. There's that hepatitis with children. COVID-19. And they're just increasing. And what, what's happening all right now? The finances, inflation is skyrocketing. Gas prices are happening. War is happening. Because of the Christian community that are constantly lying. These big channels. Tim Henderson. Paul Begley. All these big channels that you see there. Their churches, they need to be silenced so we can have, finally have silence in heaven and so we can bring peace to the earth. Isn't that what it is? And stop this house being divided amongst each other and fighting. I'll show you, I'll quickly, quickly show you where Hidden Mountain is, where the Ten Commandments is. Right here. Los Lunas, New Mexico, right here. I found this years and years and years ago. See? Now they now they placed it there. The Los Lunas Decalogue scope. That's where the Ten Commandments is. Hidden Mountain. See, I led people to this. Now people are understanding. This is where the Ten Commandments is because North America is the Holy Land. Oh yeah, you can see that. 6666. <laughs> if you want to go that way. All right, now I'll show you where I grew up. In this, in this area here, in Ohio, they have the, the two stones. There's two stones there. They're called uh, the Newark Holy Stones. Those are the two stones that were in the Ark of the Covenant. Those are the ones that Jeremiah hid when Nebuchadnezzar came. And they were buried with one of my ancestors. This is Lake Diefenbaker. It was not a lake before until the white people came here and decided to, let's make a dam and destroy my ancestors' home. There's the dam right there. This, this whole place was a very sacred area with native people because this is the twin rivers. The two rivers, the two sacred rivers, Jesus and Jason. The two rivers of life, that's what Saskatchewan means. I grew up in Outlook here, see? This is where I ch my childhood was. I was down here by the river, and there was a swimming pool here. I came here on the side here. The golf course is right here, and there was, a, there was like a bank here. I seen a red willow bush, or the sun was high in the sky. It looked like it was glowing. So I was led to that red bush. This is when I was seven years old. July 7th, when the swimming pool opened. Wow. Right? You could just imagine how now it all put it, it all made sense. So the, I was right here and I fell asleep. Next thing you know, I'm in front of a Pentecostal church. <laughs> I don't remember how that happened. In the Outlook Bakery, there is the baker there all the time. He used to always give me pretty good treats. Let's 
is where my childhood was. I'm going to show you that bookstore. There's the post office to the left. I pretty much ruled this town with my bike, me and my brothers. Oops, went too far. I hope they didn't just, oh, it's right there. See that little white building? It's like the perfect little, you know, childhood house that if you're a kid writing a book, or I mean, drawing a picture of a house, this is what you would draw. This, this little bookstore here. It used to be a bookstore. Okay, so when the sun, it was early in the morning, the sun was looking this way, right? And it was glaring out through the window. The cashier was right here, okay? So when the sun was beaming through the window, right, it hit, it must have been low early in the morning. It beamed right through, and it was hitting this red book, okay? So it looked like it was glowing, just like the red bush that I was seeing. So I was led to that red book. And so when I picked up that book, it was a red King James picture Bible. I was seven years old, or no, I think I just turned eight, because my birthday's in August, and that happened when I was seven. So my aunt one day went to the bookstore, I asked her to buy it, right? She looked at it, she hesitated, she says, no, can't, I, put it back. She wasn't a Christian. We didn't go to a church. So she didn't believe in it. Okay, so it was when we were, she was decided to leave, she said, Jason, go pick up that book and I'll buy it. So she did. All right, it was $20. And my aunt, we didn't have very much money. You know, my aunt worked hard. She was working in the fields, right? And as a child, I grew up with that in the fields with her. You know, as a child, you know, being with her so while she was working, hoeing weeds, you know, you know, garden stuff. That's where I learned how to be a gardener. So I picked up that book, and um, the first when I first opened it, I opened up well right on the street corner there. I was right exactly right there, right here. That's when I looked at it, because I looked out. The, I was looking out through this window again, and I looked again, and I picked up the book, and the first page I opened was Revelation twenty verse fifteen. Whosoever's name not found in the book of life will be cast into the lake of fire. And that at moment that off, I was looking for my name. I found my name. Jason, July, August, September, October, November. Five months. Acts 17, 5, 6, 7, and 9. Otherwise, 5 plus 6 is 11. 7 plus 9 is 16. 16, 11. Or 7, 11. July, August, September, October, November. How many times I got to tell you? Jason was a high priest in Israel. And Jesus, or Jason, was also a hero. It means hero in Greek. And also healer. I mean hero, I mean healer. He was a hero. <laughs> he still is. Because he's got everlasting life. Woohoo, I'm still here. I died in 2016. I just, I just so happened to have a Master Chief backpack. Look at the number there, 117. Look at that, see that, see there's a bird on there? That's the Thunderbird, that's my spirit name, right? First Thunderbird flies west way praying, that's my name my, in my Anishinaabek name that I was given when I was four days old. I was anointed with my spirit name. I'm just trying to be quick so it can be fast. This is like an example of the letter I send out. Print out exactly that you see here. I give it to people. I mail it to the people. And I've been doing that since 
20, I think 2020, 2019. So this is it. Okay, this was on dated on um, March 10th, 2016. I was admitted March 10th for, you know, that routine surgery when I coded blue. March 10th, 310. That's when I coded blue. That's the, re the, the fulfillment of the resurrection. Right? So, let's see. This was dated, uh, yeah, March 10th. 26 at 9.35, you know, for that routine in the morning, 9.35. That's when I seen at St. Paul's Hospital, man, it's so hard to see with this thing. Saskatoon Health, St. Paul's Hospital. I can look, I could show you that on uh, Google Earth too. Oh, this is backwards. Right Saskatoon. This is north. See that St. Paul's Hospital right there? This is where I coded blue. His name is St. Paul's Hospital. Well, I'm going to do that again so it can be there. We go. So you can see for yourselves. St. Paul's Hospital, okay? So when I went to the operating room, I don't know if you could, I'm hoping you can see that more clearly on that date, 310. Man, I wish I could liven that up a bit. I should have just, just scanned it, hey? Hey, I probably could scan it, hey? <laughs> I guess I'll do that on another video, but you, you get my point. So I'll read it to you. Possible anaphylaxis or secondary to medications, ANSEF versus anesthetic agents. Pneumothorax treated with a chest tube. Yeah, because I was intubated and I was exactly that you see with COVID patients right now. That's what I experienced. That's why everybody's experiencing it right? because they're all in disobedience. 
hypoparathyroidism. I had this surgery in September, right here. If you understand what hypoparathyroidism is, it's uh, the parathyroid glands has four little glands inside their the parathyroid glands. Those little four glands, right? They control the calcium levels. Okay, so when the calcium have those tumors in there, what happens is it takes it from your bones. That's why it talks about in the in in the verse there. All oh, my wa my bones wax cold or something like that, right? The bilateral quadricep tendon repair, which was done six six weeks ago, which I have done in February. That's why I, I slipped down some stairs, right? And I tore my knee ligaments. Okay, that's what caused me to be in the hospital. End stage renal disease. Like I'm all messed up, but look at it. I'm strong as ever. That's why everybody are just is amazed. I've been through a lot. A lot, very lot. You should see my body's all scarred up. So, history of President Inso. This patient is 39 year old gentleman with end stage renal disease, secondary to membranous nephropathy, which is membranous nephropathy is the scarring of the kidneys. Because when I shot myself in the left foot with an impulse nailer while I was building hog barns, right? I'm a carpenter. Okay? So, I shot myself in a left foot with an impulse nailer. Isaiah 22, 23. I was 22 years old when that happened. It, the verse goes as this. I will fasten him as a nail in a sure place. For he'll be a glorious throne for his father's house. Lowercase f. Referring to my father. Who is followed up by Dr. Clausen from the nephrology. PE has an unfortunate, unfortunate history of severe hyperparathyroid. I should be dead. Which I was dead. I did die. <laughs> With subsequent tendon rupture, secondary to calcium disposition. That's what that means. Like parathyroidism is calcium disposition. Right? Course in the hospital. At the time of his admission, he was about a month from bilateral quadricep repair with Dr. Koala from orthopedics. He was initially brought to St. Paul's Hospital for a parathyroidectomy, but unfortunately, after intubation, he became unstable with hypoxia and hypotension. He was, re he was resuscitated or in the OR and was found to have tension pneumothorax or pneumothorax, which was treated with needle decompression and with a 24-hour French chest tube by the general surgeon. He was transferred to ICU briefly and then to the medicine ward when he stabilized. Since then, he has been relatively stable and has been getting his dialysis Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as per nephrology. Following treatment of his pneumothorax, he really didn't have any acute medical issues and was largely waiting for disposition to be determined. A consult was sent to Dr. Greg Peters from Allergy, who has plans to see him towards the end of April to see his six weeks since his possible anaphylactic episode to allow his IgE levels return to normal. On March 22, 2016, he was revered by Dr. Koala from Orthopedics and Saskatoon City Hospital, who provided some clear instructions for ongoing physiotherapy. I didn't get that physiotherapy. That's what I said. I did it all on my own. I was out of the hospital in March, at the end of March. Everyone's amazed. I should have been in the hospital for at least six months. I did it in two. The patient was quite keen on going home and was stable in condition and was followed up by his usual physicians. Outpatient allergy test with Dr. April. At some point, he needs a parathyroid. At some point, he will need a parathyroid once his possible anaphylactic reaction is resorted. That's a horrible condition, right? The reason why I say that is because when your bones is getting the calcium taken from you all the time, your legs ache constantly. I had a hard time walking because I was incredibly weak. Like I said, I should have been dead. That's why Dr. Clausen claws me miracle. 
And I'm sure she, she referred to me that as that I was going to be in the medical journal, the Canadian Medical Journal for this case. I should not be alive because I'm proving to you who I am today. With all the evidence. Why should I lie? You gotta go through the Red Sea in order to be cleansed by water, right? Campo E A U is water in French. So I'll just close this now. So who's the one that persecuted uh, Jesus again? Paul did. Exactly what's happening again, or has happened in modern times. <laughs> There's my name, the house of Jason. Right? He had a name written that no man knew but himself, 1912. Now take a look at these numbers, 1919. If you understand what that verse is, hold on, we'll get to that correct verse here. Exodus 19.19, 19, when the voice of the trumpet, okay, we're looking for the, the last trumpet, the last seventh trumpet that's blown. That is the voice, this voice right here, sounded long and waxed louder and louder. Moses spoke and God answered him by a voice. Isn't that amazing? That's, I'm the final trumpet. So back to this. So we, now we know what the voice of the trumpet is. It's God's voice. Deuteronomy 23, 11, Right? I guess you want to look at that verse, right? So might as well. Deuteronomy, this is when I found my last name, November 23rd, 2019, which is basically, you know, uh, heaven was opened. But it shall be evening when he cometh on. He shall wash himself with Water, or E-A-U. E-A-U is water in French. And when the sun is down, he'll come into camp again. Camp O, that's my name. And this, this here, just so you know. Well, this should be a... See, when I, co when I copy and paste from, you know... The internet, right? The, it's supposed to be capital L, lowercase O R D. That's what the sixteen eleven writes. So that's why you might see it as a capital, all capital. The Lord shall smite thee with a consumption, and with a fever, and with inflammation, and with an extreme burning, with the sword and blasting, and with the mildew, and they shall pursue thee until thou perish, or drought. Which is which you guys don't have the you know the word of God with you, you don't. That's why that we're experiencing drought. Are you understanding? You see that burning, that fever. Doesn't that sound like COVID nineteen? Look at the numbers. 10, 2022. So again, I was 22 years old. Now look at these. Look at the, how the numbers are. 19, 12, 19, 13. And his name is called the Word of God. Jason Campbell. You see my name? And whosoever is not found written in the book of life was cast into Lake Empire. Someone's name has to be found. I found my name. See, Jason, you guys are seeing this with your own eyes. 
There's nothing I should hide. His name is going to be the Word of God, Jason Campbell. That's me. <laughs> no, Jesus the Holy Ghost, Luke 1 3 5, Acts 1 13 9, 22 7, Matthew 16 20, and he charges his disciples to tell no man that he's Jesus Christ, which is verified by Matthew and Luke. Matthew, Mark, and Luke, the three witnesses that testify to this statement. This is where you get the three witnesses from. The three faithful witnesses. You know, that I showed you in, uh, in uh, Revelations 14, 12. Who kept the commandments of God. Who kept the faith of Jesus. That's what that is. Matthew, Mark, and Luke were the ones that kept the faith of Jesus. Matthew 24, 23. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. Luke 20, 38. For he is not a God of the dead, but of the living. For all live unto him. John 14, 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. Who's Jesus, right? He shall teach you all things. And bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. John 12, 44. Jesus cried and said, He that believeth on me, believeth not on me, but on him that sent me. Well, who sent him? I sent him. House of Jason. Exodus 20, 20, and Moses said unto the people, Fear not, for God has come to prove you that ye that his fear may be before your faces, that ye sin not. 20, 20. Exodus 20, 22, and the Lord said unto Moses, Thus shall say to the children of Israel, not the children of Christians, <laughs> Israel, as in Israelites, ye have seen that I have talked to you from heaven. The internet, Wi-Fi, WWW, and 3G. Exodus 15, 16, otherwise... 1 plus 5 is 6. 1 plus 6 is 7. 76, the year of my birth. Fear and dread shall fall upon them by greatness of thine arm. Dialysis arm. Ooh. They shall be still as stone till thy people pass over, O Lord, till the people pass over which thou hast purchased. Backed up by Deuteronomy 2.25 and Joshua 2.19, 2, 2, 2.9. Leviticus 17.11, otherwise 2.8, my birth date, August 2nd, 1976. For the life of the flesh and the blood, I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls, for it is the blood that makes the atonement of souls. Hemodialysis, left arm, otherwise holy left arm, because after two needles that pierce your arm after uh, 13 years, well, give or take maybe six years, seven years now. I've been on hemodialysis for seven years. 7-11. Isaiah 40-10. Let's look at those verses, okay? Come on, slow cube computer. I'm trying to be as quick as I can here. Quick as a bunny. I'm at 1.15, an hour and 15. Okay, I'm trying, I'm trying to be as quick as I can, guys. You know, I, even though I've been doing this in public, you know, when I talk to people, right? When I talk to people, I gotta be less than five minutes flat. Because the attention span of people, it's not even six minutes. <laughs> because they have so much stuff in their mind. It's like they're, they're experts of the Word of God and they're not even. Okay. 
Well, that's not working. Okay, the King James, Isaiah 40.10. Behold, the Lord God will come with a strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. Fifty two ten. You see how it's, it switches from capital L or D to small because they don't even know. Because if they had the 1611, it would all be L, capital L, small lowercase O R D. The Lord had made bare his holy arm in the eyes of the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. Is that quite clear? 53 1. Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Next one. 59.16. I memorized this book since I was a boy. I when I like I said, I will continue my story, like an outlook about a about a year after. Um, after I had that encounter, you know, down by the river, right? I ended up running into the last church I ended up going was the Alliance Church in Outlook. Okay. They welcomed me in that day, gave me some panels. There was like a flea market going on that day, right? They welcomed me in, they asked my aunt and all that, some questions, and I didn't even read re what was going on. I don't know if that was a year or just a few months after, but they came to my aunt's house and welcomed her in and they invited her to the church. Okay. See, I was bringing people to the church even then. <laughs> so when I got to the church, there was this group called Awanas. Maybe I can find it here. So this is the Awana's the Awana clubs. All right, this is what I went through. All right, this is where I was trained. How you see how I present the scriptures to you? That's how I memorize the scriptures. I put in a pattern because that's what Isaiah talks about, declaring the end from the beginning, because that's how you understand God's spirit. Like I'll show you in a bit. But you get it. It's called a wanna. This is what I this is what I learned. This is called approved workmen are not ashamed. Okay? That's where I learned. And when I was all through that church, I went through Bible camps. Okay, I was sponsored in Bible camps because everyone loved my understanding of the word. Okay? So as I got into Bible camps, my knowledge kept increasing. Memorization increased. So all these verses that I had in my head and I memorized, they just pop out just like that. 
That's what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be ready. Not to sit there and guess and ignore and say, oh, they're just like this one white lady. Oh, they're just religious and they're just pu push pushing all this scripture on me and all that like the devil does. Well, if, wait a minute. The devil does not like God's word. Doesn't even like the commandments. Oh, 5616. Oops, my bad. Isaiah, or, I mean, uh, Isaiah. And he saw that there was no man and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore, his arm brought salvation unto him, and his righteousness, it sustained him. I'm still here. I'm living proof of the word is what I'm saying. Remember, it was the prophets that testify of me. They seen my arrival. Do you, do you think I enjoy sacrificing my whole life for this Bible, missing my whole life, being isolated from everyone? Do you think I appreciate that? No, because I love the Word of God. And since once I had my older, I became uh, went into Bible revivals through Bible uh, colleges in Saskatchewan, you know, Miller College, Briarcrest, and Bethany, right? Right? Been through it all. Everywhere I go, everyone I talk to, I, I, I always talk about the Bible. I show it how it is. I lead people to get into reading it because they make it, I make it sound good. <laughs> and once people understand that Paul is the devil, they want to understand more. And that's what I do. I'm only doing what I'm born to do. And I looked, there was none to help. And I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore, my own arm brought salvation in my, and my fury, it upheld me. Jeremiah 32, 17. There's tons more. I'm, I just, I'm just giving you just, uh, just, you know, the, the, the key ones that you can uh, just, Comp get get a grasp and understanding what is actually saying about the holy arm of the Lord. The holy arm from being pierced like how many times? <laughs> ah, the Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretched out arm, and there was nothing too hard for thee. <laughs> and then finally. Zechariah 12.10. Otherwise, 3.10. You know, the March 10th is when I died. I coded blue at St. Paul's Hospital. You know, the, the, the persecutor, the one that killed me. That you guys are all serving. And I will pour out the house of David, the upon inhabitants of Jerusalem, the spirit of grace and supplications. And they shall look upon me whom they have pierced, which is the dialysis nurses. That's where Revelations 1 7 comes from, this verse. Everything comes from the Old Testament. The New Testament is just like, you know, it's pretty much rubbish, right? Because it's like a it's like a forgery replaced with its own words. That's why you guys are reading the wrong one. And they shall mourn for him as one mourneth for his own son. And there shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. Yeah, that's how everybody is because they they don't realize it's actually here. And they're blatantly denying me because their Jesus Christ is coming. 
Well, he already came. Now he has his Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost that you all are blaspheming. And that's an unforgivable sin. Okay, so 126. Okay, well, I think that should be it for today, but you get my point. Deuteronomy 439. Know therefore this day and consider it in thine heart that the Lord, he is God in heaven above and upon the earth beneath. What is that saying? That God's on the earth right now? It's right here. And there's none else. The Ten Commandments, Hidden Mountain, I showed you where it is, Isaiah 6, 5, 11, Matthew 4, 4, 24, 15. Well, let's, let's look at this, Matthew 4, 4. But he answered and said, It is written, man shall not live by bread alone. Well, what are you guys doing taking the bread sacrifice then? You guys totally missed that part, right? But you guys, oh, got to do communion. Thou shalt not drink the blood. But by every word that preceded the mouth of God. Yeah, everyone's going to hear the mouth of God. Jesus says that. <laughs> the Holy Ghost. And 2415. When ye therefore see the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel of the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Okay, what is that? You might ask. Hold on, I'll find that the verse that connects to that verse. Right, uh, Oh yeah, here it is. Matthew 3, 25. And if house that to be divided against itself, it shall not stand. Which is the house of desolation? Judaism, Christianity, Islam. The house divided. So that's the abomination of desolation. Because everyone's fighting amongst each other. Brother will fight brother. If a house be divided itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but hath an end. <laughs> My goodness. You guys, I'm trying to help you understand. You guys are just blatantly denying right to my face. And I'm showing you exactly what the Word of God is saying. 
You guys were warned that this was coming. The judgment and wrath of God. <laughs> it doesn't have to be that way. You just need to understand that your sins have been forgiven already. Not through gospel of Christ, which is the lie. It's the gospel of God. You know the one that Jesus warned you that would come? Right? Behold, the kingdom of God. So anyways, I think I'm going to end it on that note. For God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. Psalms 50, 21, these things thou hast done. I kept, kept silence, though thou that I was altogether, such as one of thyself. But I will approve thee. Set them in order before thine eyes. Psalm 71, 10, for my enemies speak against me, and they that lay wait for my soul take counsel together. Psalm 78, 56, yet they tempted and provoked the Most High God and kept not his testimonies. Most high, as in, I have high blood pressure. Hypertension, that's what that is. Letter J, 654, not until the 17th century was in the letter J existed. Jason, which is in, this is in Wikipedia, you could find it. Jason, Hebrew, Yasin. That's what his name was. Josephus records that his name before he Hellenized it, it was originally Jesus. Joseph changed his name. The stepfather, there's the links, you can check that out. Isaiah 7, 14, the one I'm going to bring you back to. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son. Yasun, it is supposed to be a Yasun. And shall call his name Emmanuel, which is supported in Matthew 1, 23 and 131, where that verse comes from, from the New Testament. Isaiah 9, 6, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. There's the supporting verses to that. Isaiah 43, 11. I, even I am the Lord, beside me there's no Savior. I am the Lord, and there's none else. There's no God beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. Isaiah 46, 10. Declaring the end from the beginning. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done say, done say, my counsel shall stand and I'll do all my pleasure. For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come into mind. Habakkuk 2.20 But the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth kept silence before him. Remember, there's going to be a three days of silence. There was a silence in heaven. <laughs> the internet. And the heavens were opened up to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove, bird, and lightning upon him. Thunder, Thunderbird. That's my name, Thunderbird. First Thunderbird flies west praying right here. I was given at four days old. Jesus, the Holy Ghost. Luke 135, Acts 13, 9, 22, 7. Matthew 16, 20. Then charge ye disciples to tell them you, you, you understand. I keep repeating this how many times. And there came a fear in all. And they glorified God, saying, That a great prophet is risen among us, and that God hath visited his people. Luke 23, 34. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they not know what they do. And they parted his raiment and casted lots. John 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was God. John 1.2, and the same was in the beginning with the God. WWW, we all know what that is, 3G. John 3.34, for whom God has sent, speaking the words of God, for God giveth not the Spirit by measure unto him. 1 Peter 1.17, as if you address the Father, the One, who impartially judges according to each one's work, Conduct yourselves in fear during the time your stay on earth. 1 Peter 4.17 For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall be the end of them that, that obey not the gospel of God? 
Revelation 4, 3, he was he who was sitting like a jasper stone and saw us in appearance. And there was a rainbow around the throne, like an emerald in appearance. And that's the same stuff that you learned. His eyes were as flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. He had a name written that no man knew but he himself. Revelation 19, 13, and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And I saw John, the holy city, New Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for his husband, for her husband. Revelation 22, 1, and he showed me a pure river of water of life, Creos Christo, proceeded of the throne of God and the Lamb. Now, if you now most Christians all would be married to the bridegroom, but you don't understand what that is. That's a metaphor. If you understand what a metaphor is in English language, it uses words like as a or like a. <laughs> You all need to go back to school. Y'all. Well, I think that's that concludes another presentation by little old me. Thank you very much for paying attention for those that uh, are willing to listen, those who have ears to hear, and those that would like to understand the knowledge of God more fully and completely. Because it's about the gospel of God. The kingdom of heaven, Matthew 25, 1, otherwise 7, 1, or 17. <laughs> Gospel of the kingdom of God, Mark 1, 14. Oh, otherwise, if you add those numbers up, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 4 is 6, 76, my year of my birth, yay! <laughs> Now this is a this is a, a songwriter like she does covers for many of these hit artists right that we see these these Christian people doing right and this song uh, you can put the link up like she's this is a description of who she is okay because she is this Holy Spirit okay I'm trying to show you who that is okay Revelation twenty one eleven having the glory of God, and her light was like unto a stone, most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as clear still. That's her. Melody, joy, cloud, that's her. That's the Holy Spirit I'm trying to show you. <laughs> which which is like the marriage where they, where they, they, they find each other, you know what I mean? But she doesn't know that yet. Well, technically, I've showed you who, who she is. I showed you who she is. And I, I've showed you, I showed herself myself, but I showed her who I am through the Word of God. And she hasn't been making any videos. But anyway, she has this church that she goes to down in Mexico. I think New Mexico somewhere. I don't, I'm not familiar. They, call, it's, they, they study the Hebrew ways, the Jewish ways, right? Which is the traditions of men, Mark 7, 8, which the deception. And that's... What would happen is that oh they would they would uh, cling into a Jew at the last days, and it won't they won't get it they won't get anywhere with it. But that's what they're doing, and they don't understand that Isaiah one fifteen is saying that God just said basically I'm done with everything because you guys already broke the commandments. You're following the golden calf, so the commandments are already broken. You know when Moses seen the treachery, and he threw the commandments down, and that's what we're in. So God himself reveals the commandments again and puts it in, in each one of you heart. That's the promise that I would fulfill, which I've done. I kept my word. So again, I, I appreciate you all. I thank you. I'm, I'm sitting at 140. And uh, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul. And I know some people are not going to like this, but it doesn't matter. I've showed you who I am from the resurrection and the death that's happened again in my life, right? And the new body from Jesus to Jason. That's why he's the Holy Ghost. Because that's the words you guys are ignoring. And that's blaspheming the Holy Ghost. And it's an unforgivable sin because you're following the devil Paul. 
<laughs> and men's, you got to stay away from the opinions of men. That is the temptation of the devil. I can continue showing on everything about all these, even the even when the disciples, they walked away from him because they couldn't stand his words. Now, if you look at this, remember I told you about 7 -11? Genesis 2 2, which is this year, the beginning and the end. <laughs> and on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day of his work, which he had made. 7 2 7 2. 7 11, 7 11. All right, so that should be it now. Oh, I appreciate you all again. Sometimes I, 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 do, I, I just got to get this message out because it, 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 these, these curses can be stopped. There's this. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you some uh, on on the channel here, so you can see what I'm talking about. What I'm against. Even though it doesn't matter, I'm like, you know, that's their soul. Because what they don't understand is, when you, we all die, we all stand before the throne. And if you don't if you don't have the information I give you, the seal of God, my name, you're going to perish and go into the eternal fire, which is eternal death. Death. The Calgary Flames. There's the Red Sea. <laughs> All right, let's. All right, let's see. Let's see. Look at this. Look at these. Look at these. These demons. Oops. <laughs> Just, just sick people, hey? <laughs> just barking like a dog. <laughs> dumb dogs. Isaiah 46.10 My watchmen are dumb dogs. <laughs> forever sleeping and forever slumbering. Look at this. This one's here. Hey guys, so this is another important message that I have for you. and uh, Don't let Satan drag nice. you to hell. So if the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross is rejected, there is no other way to keep these people from eternity in hell. Oh, look at the fear porn, you know, they, these Christians will do. Well, you're going to go to hell, you know, if you don't keep Paul's words. After he kills him, <laughs> they've already met their fate already. Don't let Satan drag you to hell. That's all. They, that's all Christians can do is just use fear, 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 and that's all they have. They don't even know who God is. Oh, yes, I got another. Someone liked your comment. Yeah, woo, that's another one. I see my videos here. Let's check this out here. My channel. I got 174 subs. See, the cr five crowns. My name. I got seven views. Woo, -hoo. you know, the oil, the whole oil to the light the fire. See, this is when I, uh, there's, see, do you, do you see, like, how could you not see that? 
I have probably average about 40 to 30 views. It's not bad. So anyways, I thank you. I appreciate you all. You know, I'm trying to help the world, I'm trying to help them understand, get the word of God in their hearts, right? Get the commandments back in their hearts so we can all end Satan's tyranny that's happening on the earth right now with these curses and all that. You know, the Christians, Satan's, you know, the ones that are just blaring lies, you know, blatantly denying the Holy Ghost, Jesus, you know what I mean? So that's what you can do. You could help me. And I know most people are not going to want my watch my what message. It doesn't matter. That's their soul. Everybody's all these people with all these great channels, right? They don't realize that only them is going to stand before the throne. They're not going to have all these people around them, and they're leading many astray, the false Christs. <sighs> well, anyways, thank you.